Hi, and welcome to this uh, Chrome Enterprise tutorial with uh, Apps Events and Acer. I'm Charlie Love, and today what I'm going to do is take you through uh, some of the amazing new features in the new editions of Google Workspace. And uh, what we have in the in the Enterprise uh, Education Standard and Education Plus editions is a wonderful feature called the Security Dashboard, which gives administrators a kind of overview of all the activity that's happening within their domain. So uh, I just want to take you into that and let you see that. Uh, in this video and we'll just have a little look at what what that security dashboard offers you as an administrator so here i am i've logged into my admin console and i'm going to go to security now just a reminder that this this feature is available in the enterprise education standard and education plus editions so now what i'm going to do is just hop into my uh, security dashboard and what I will get is a number of widgets on screen and kind of key graphs and information that tell me what's happening inside my domain. So um, you can uh, search across all domains you've got. You can set your time time zone and so on at the top. You've got some, uh, there's also the opportunity for some statistical analysis, kind of get percentage wise of what's happening and so on. But I'll just leave, leave those settings out there. We'll just look at the last seven days activity in this domain specifically. So a really neat one, first of all, is, you know, what does external file sharing look like? Because that's always a worry. You want to know what your users are doing. Where is the information for your organization? How many users have got stuff that they've ex shared externally? So if you allow external sharing, what's happening with that? So this is a great way just to see at a glance what's happening with external file sharing uh, in your domain. So um, what I've got here is just a kind of graph that shows the file sharing events over time. Uh, and what I can also do is uh, if I want to go dig a little deeper, um, I can look at views of files. So uh, these are the file sharing events, just what's been people viewing files. We've got a big spike on viewing, people viewing publicly sharing files or externally shared files, because these are externally shared files. So if we get a bit of a spike on that, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe something's shared externally that shouldn't be shared externally and that's driving the access to that. So it's something that you can keep an eye on and look in at. And you've got this option here to click in and view a report and go a little deeper. Uh, and here you can see how file sharing is, is done, the sharing events over time. Um, but you can also see things like the top viewed files, which ones are getting the most, most attention. Um, and you can see see that here. And you may decide that you know if something's shared, you know people with a link can access it. Maybe a link's in circulation. Something just shared externally, so anyone anyone can see that. Uh, just a range of different options there that you can you can drill down and see what's happening with external file sharing. Um, you also have a look to see how your various domains. You've got multiple domains set up. You can see how file sharing affects those multiple domains that you've got set up. Uh, and also with your uh, DLP rules, these are these protect uh, how your um, data is is retained inside your uh, domain. So fortunately, here none of these rules have been triggered. So that's that's a good news. So that's a really you know file exposure, the where your how, how your files are shared, what's happening, um, whether they're internal, external, uh, anyone with a link can access them, whether files are just kept private. Um, all of that information is available in the security dashboard, which is pretty awesome. So as well as that, you've got things like, um, for example, authentication on email messages, making sure that all your email messages, so you're just checking that uh, DKIM and SPF records are in place for the mail that's been delivered. So the vast majority of mail, that will be the case. You might get one or two messages that are unauthenticated that have come from an unverified uh, sender so that's just something to keep another thing to keep an eye out for um, email being delivered with TLS encryption you can see that there um, and you know what does the inbound message volumes look like so are you getting a huge influx of mail um, is there a big huge spike suddenly or is it pretty pretty level as it is generally speaking level ish here um, so that's that's another useful thing. Are your spam rules being triggered, and and is your is lots of spam being arriving in your domain? And you see here, you know, pretty much our spam delivery is pretty low, which is great. Um, 
The interesting one is fishing, and you want to do a little bit of an, a, a closer look at what's happening with phishing. So phishing is email potentially to come from a particular location, but it isn't. It's trying to trick the users into providing uh, personal information. So we've got a little bit of a spike here around phishing. So actually what we can do is have a little closer look at that uh, by looking at the report. And if I go in here um, to my phishing, um, there's just see that on that little day, there's a spike here. Let's go and have a little look. We've got this phishing email here. So there's obviously a something happening with that. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is show you how you can launch the new investigation tool from your security dashboard to go straight in and review what's happening there. Um, okay, so the other features that are available there. So we get down, we'd gone down as far as looking at phishing. So again, so that's phishing. You will, if you've got malware being delivered, remember that there's a fantastic security sandbox that comes with uh, Gmail and it will put malware, scan for malware and put that, you know, take action for that malware, allow you to quarantine it and so on. Um, so you can look, look at that. User reports, um, how are users marking their emails? So this is the user reporting of mail. So do you have lots of users reporting phishing mails or spam or marking things that as not spam so that they're getting false positives and, and so on. So they're marking it as not spam. So it gets you, lets you see what's happening over time, how users are going to mark those emails um, as they're going. Suspicious, suspicious attachments, whether there's something uh, strange with attachments that are sent in particular messages, you can see that. Um, or there's particular spoofing as well. So a range of things there. Um, I suppose another interesting one is failed device password attempts. So if you've got device management in place, whether that's for Chromebooks, Android devices, or window, Windows, Mac, whatever it is you're authenticating, you've got the, how many failed, whatever it is you're managing for password policies and such, um, how many failed logins have you got on those devices? And so you can see a track on that, which is really useful. Um, OAuth uh, grants to new apps, so that's where you're using that authentication to go into different uh, different products. So again, you can get an overview of how OAuth is being used to uh, authenticate in, into these other third party apps and such. So that's really neat. It's one, what you find with uh, Security Dashboard is it gives you that huge amount of data all in one place, really useful. Um, you know, uh, you get things like things like this. We see a little spike here in terms of failed user logins. So there's 19 failed attempts there, uh, there in that particular day. So you could go in and you could look closely at that. You look at the kind of challenge methods that you're using around user attempts to log in. Um, and user attempts where it's deemed to be suspicious. Um, and of course, you can you can set your your DLP rules so you can prevent data leaking out of your domain. You know, things like putting in place rules that prevent credit card details, for example, to be shared. So you can have those uh, uh, those those limits put on um, your domain, which is really useful. So the uh, security dashboard, that's a quick, could really quick overview of what's available there. Um, you can, of course, modify it. You can customize the dashboard. You can add or remove widgets. If things aren't going, you know, if there's something here that you're not really interested in, you can remove that. Um, so I could, you know, you could just remove that widget from the dashboard um, or you could add widgets. If you've got widgets you haven't already got added, they'll appear here and you can add them. So the, the security dashboard gives you the, the option to customize it to your need, which is really useful. Um, you can do it across your domains. You can search over periods of time. You can look at the last month. You know, you can go up to 180 days. So that's really neat. Um, so yeah, so that's the security dashboard. Really hope you enjoyed that kind of quick overview of what it offers. You may not have seen that if you're using maybe some, some of the, the enterprise fund, the education fundamentals product, or you're using uh, business, business plus, you may not have seen that. It's a great upgrade in terms of your security around enterprise so really recommend it to you um and as i say it's available in the enterprise education standard and education plus editions of workspace so thank you very much i'm charlie love and this has been a tutorial from apps events and acer mm -hmm.